The James Webb Space Telescope, launched to study things like the formation of the earliest galaxies, is going to be used to learn everything we can about this. Asteroid 2024 YR4 The asteroid has an approximately 98% chance of safely passing Earth on December 22, 2032, according to recent data. But while Juan Luis Cano at the European Space Agency's Planetary Defense Office says people should not be too concerned about the possibility of an impact, he says astronomers need more data. This is a warning for us as scientists and researchers uh, that we should put uh, a lot of attention on this subject in order to gather as many observations as possible. That's where the James Webb Telescope comes in. The asteroid was first recognized as a potential threat in December 2024. Its density and composition is currently unknown, but it's estimated to be between 131 and 295 feet across, and traveling about 15 times the speed of a high-velocity bullet. The James Webb Space Telescope will be brought in to get a more precise estimate of the asteroid's size and to study the heat it emits, rather than the visible light it reflects. This method can provide a more accurate size estimation, crucial for assessing the asteroid's potential hazard. The first round of observations from Webb will take place in early March, and the second round in May. With those details, there's a good chance the risk of impact could be eliminated, Cano said. So this is good news because uh, nine of ten cases in, in nine of ten cases we will be able to to remove these objects from the risk list. However, there is still a 10% probability that this object will remain in the risk list after, uh, after May, uh, in which case we would only be able to see it again in, uh, in the spring of 2028. And uh, only then we would know whether it would be an impacting trajectory or not with, with the Earth. And lift off of the if the asteroid's impact probability remains above the 1% threshold, even after the web observations, scientists will discuss Earth's response. That could include crashing a spacecraft into it to deflect it off course, a technique successfully demonstrated by NASA's DART spacecraft in 2022. Asked about a worst-case scenario, Cano references the 1908 Tunguska event over Siberia that leveled 830 square miles of trees. He said if YR4 were to be about 295 feet, we would be Easily speaking, of ten times the 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 effect of the Tunguska of the Tunguska event. 